my childhood, there were a lot of ivory tiles involved that were very noisy. It was imported from China and somehow it wound up in the family rooms of suburban Jewish women. This was what happened. It's part of life. It's like growing up and not having milk with a meat sandwich. It's like going to have dim sum or going out to have dinner. Everybody just do it. I just like the exercise for, for all the uh, all gentlemen, all ladies. It's like the exercise of finger, you know, and the brain. The full body is very good. I find it very stimulating. I mean, 7.30 Friday night, you could set your clock by that. The bell would ring and the girls would arrive. People with names like Minnie, and Faye, and Bertha and Ethel and Selma. They don't name people with names like that anymore, do they? I will make the fruit, some uh, nasserai, you know. Some mandel bread. Mandel bread. Make no. coffee. And of course, before you go home, you make coffee. Of course. The hostess would then take out her mahjong set, which they all carried around in these little cases that looked like clarinet cases or machine guns, you know. And they would open it out and throw all this stuff on the table. It was like the upper line of harmony in some music, the high notes. You know, you could hear the cluck of the mahjong tiles as you walked along street level. I guess I can conjure up my grandmother's apartment and the three things I see are her silver tea service, her crystal chandelier, and the mahjong set. You see, we have absolutely no use for this at the moment in my family, but we can't bear to give it away because my memories of my mother and my father's memories of his wife are so strongly associated with this game. I did not find a person in any of the old Chinatowns on the West Coast that did not know my grandmother. I only had to ever say her first name. And they would say, oh, a Mei Ying with the dangling earrings, or oh, a Mei Ying who was so beautiful and so tiny, or, or oh, yes, a Mei Ying, she just couldn't walk away from the gambling table. Two bin. Five bin. Ah, be there. This is a louse. Where else can you have so much fun for three or five dollars, have friends, coffee and cake, and a night out? No place. It'll never die because it's such a social game, because it's a reason for gatherings. You can always divide a group into fours, and those who don't play can cook for the foursome and bring their coffee to the table. Mahjong! <laughs> Thank you.